Right folks, so we're using the MIO paint. I think it's Micus Iron Oxide. It's a boat hull paint using a little fluffy roller. And we're using a brush. I'm not going for like a spray finish. You know, this can't be put on with a spray gun. It can just be put on with a brush or a roller. So the main thing is to get a good coverage, get at least two coats. And we're watering it down with the number three thinners, 5% um, of that, just to make it level a bit better. Let's see how we get on. Well, that's about an hour of painting with a roller. I've not got onto the brush yet. I've done everything I can from the top. I'm just running around on a bit of plyboard underneath to get the bottom of the chassis rails and everything from underneath ready for when we flip it. Right folks, so this is the paint, the chassis paint that's got gilsonite in it, micus iron oxide, etc. Like I said, watering it down 5% with thinners, mixing it up with a stick. Now I've done one full coat on the chassis and I've used about one litre. I expected to use about two, two and a half litres. I think I used three litres of red oxide to paint it. But obviously it's had plenty of undercoat, so this has had a, a full good coat all over. I'm going to leave it at this. The paint is going off quite quick. It's, it's quite hot just now, but we are about five o'clock and it gives rain at eight o'clock. So don't want to put any more paint on it. There will be some runs because it's upside down. The main bits you can see red oxide are where there's, there's holes drilled in the chassis. So I'm just going to let it dry now. I probably will give it another coat tomorrow if it's nice. So I'll give it another coat upside down, which will be probably two litres. And then I'll leave it for a week to dry and we'll flip the chassis over, rub off any runs and uh, we'll give it, you know, the final two coats of paint. So I think it's going to be four coats of paint by the looks of it. I'm really happy with it. It's quite a good finish with the brush. You know, it's what I keep saying. At the end of the day, as a chassis, you're not going to see it. The main reason I'm painting it is because I don't really want the bling on show. I, you know, I don't want people to think this is a Land Rover with a galvanised chassis. There'll be no hint to that. It'll just be an old Land Rover that's uh, in good condition. So I'm just hoping all this paint, all this treatment will make this outlast me. So we've been painting the Land Rover Defender 110 chassis. So this was a galvanised chassis. We have uh, we've degreased it when it came here. We've then done it with the mordant tea wash. We've let that react. We've then washed off the salt crystals and let it dry. We've then done it with acid etch primer to make sure the paint keys on. We've then controversially we've done it with two coats of red oxide. And then this is MIO paint. So this is paint used for the hulls of narrowboats. So it's a micus iron oxide bitumen based paint. And it's basically got resins and stuff in it to, to make it go hard. So it is slightly glittery. It's a bit like paint that you use on lamp posts. Very hard wearing, very durable and quite economical. It's now had two coats of paint upside down. And we're going to flip it over in five days time when it's had a good a good chance of drying rub off any drips get it in the workshop and we'll do a final coat from the top so quite a short video it's 21 degrees just now it, it's baking hot up here um but yeah painting the chassis with gilsonite paint